How can you pronounce a passion you've never participated in? Love is a foreign dialect I haven't mastered yet. It's hard to conjugate compassion when my vocab has been rooted in absence. My emotions get stuck in the back of my throat like an R I can't roll. My family and I don't speak the same language. Love is the empty pot on my grandmother's stove. It's the songs me and my grandfather sing on road trips. It's my mother not knowing how to say it consistently. My father stays out of my life. And I'm starting to think that's love too. I never, I never write about love. love. Don't really know how. Thought giving love was to be perfect instead of a person. To be small enough to fit inside of someone's projection. I was down bad. Requesting love from those who ain't even got it. Pleading to people, to people please. Had people who took the parts of me they wanted to see. Told me they loved me, but maybe that is love. Maybe I'm the mirror that doesn't turn people away. The one that doesn't shatter when they scream into it. The love language that spoke to me the most was silence. Acceptance is practice rather than spoken. Words without action is just imagination. I love people for what they said they could do before they did it. Attachment and connections are not the same thing. One is the fear of being apart, and the other is knowing you'll always be together. I never learned the difference. I used to be scared to love people. I love you. Always felt like a promise. The only way to love someone is forever. So what happens? When the human parts of our being get tired of growing together, we are not stationary life forces. We are forces of life starved in states of stagnancy. We move, we change. We don't always need the same people present in every present. Even so, my teammates bring a smile to my soul. Bearing my shadows be met with bear hugs. And I seen the meanest mug to anyone disrespected me and my people. I show my loved ones, their, their loved ones, ones, when they ask me how I'm doing. And I tell the truth, even though it feels like trying to cough up a mountain. Blood may be thicker than water, but, but it isn't, isn't stronger than, than ink. Immortalize my friends with pens and capture them without confinement. I got, I got wealth and emotional health. health. Got, got a group, group of people we're staying on this planet, planet with. with. Homies who share food, we don't got it like that. Fill each other's cups until they overflow. And my homies know spending time alone is how I love myself. Know we can grow closer or grow apart as long as we still grow. And, and we, we don't, don't all gotta, gotta go together, together to grow together. A person's journey to self-discovery does not mean I'm losing them. It, it means, means they're, they're finding, finding themselves. themselves. And our fondness for familiar faces is a form of fear. One, One day, we, we all must travel far away. I thought I found my soul tribe. Until I realized my tribe is a part of my soul. And every person I ever meet is never separate from me, but an extension of me, experiencing life in different phases and places. And love never leaves, even when people